Uh, begin. Let's go ahead and get started. Call in for more help just in case. I have to proceed. Okay, brother's waiting on the ship. Let's do this while he's safe. It's his home down after all. I'm sure he'll be very appreciative if we save it from being straight up abandoned out of harassment. Uh, the residents start to assemble one by one. Time to come with them to evacuate Aragon. Uh, to Aragon. And the may as the mayor had ordered. Traveling lightly, I see. Even those who oppose it made preparations to leave. Sad farewell, they left the homes behind. They're taking the sheep with them. <laughs> Finally. It took longer than I thought it would. They're all so stubborn. It was always going to be tough. Oh, Ulster. You're no bustling metropolis, but by ideos, you are a beautiful town. And how proud I am that Prince Oliver himself spent some of his childhood here. Which is why merely cooperating with conscription is simply not enough. I want our town to make a true contribution to this nation. My good mayor, it would appear we can finally get started. Kleist. Oh, that fucker. Why is it always that fucker? Hey there, Wads. Sorry it took so damn long. Who would believe how stubborn all these townsfolk are? clear now that getting everyone away from the town first is the only way for this little reforming team of yours to go smoothly. <laughs> I owe you a great deal of gratitude. Speed is crucial in business. I can see why Reiner had useful information. Admittedly, I had used a somewhat unconventional approach. I wouldn't concern yourself with that. It all counts as expenses. It is unfortunate the town had sustained some minor damage. It's all for the greater good, I'm sure. The greater good. I'm still impressed with the scale of it all, though. What was it again? A giant logistics center? From the plan draw-up, I gathered it was like an improved version of logistics storehouse that Kleisenko has in the capital. But why would he want a logistics thing here? Didn't you mention that by building it in our suburbs, we'd be able to develop into Erebonis' next big commercial area? Oh, that's so bullshit. A logistics hub? Wait, our logistics hub, is are, is that like a shipping depot? Is that what you're saying logistically? That sort of thing for like that sort of stuff? Or are you saying like a military logistics hub? The Empire's expanding and there's an urgent demand to establish a logistics network, particularly for dry North Ambria. The economic benefits uh, we would gain from an also logistics center would be unprecedented. Would you be so kind as to grant permission to open a factory that manufactures military items other than weapons? <laughs> of course. I presume such a factory will employ locals. It's for the country and also for the benefit of Ulster. It's a perfect plan. I had a hunch this was happening. What are you still doing here? Well, well, I do believe I've seen your faces before. Yeah, and I'd love to curb, sp uh, curb stomp yours. And say glasses, Hugo, if I'm not mistaken. Just keep popping up where you're not welcome. You really like sticking your neck out. Lyston goes, sales manager, Wads, and Mayor Matham. Are you aware that this plan of yours is illegal? Can't believe you use monsters for your own purposes to dro drive away the residents. This is fraud and intimidation on a wide scale. You've essentially hijacked an entire town. There's no way of sugarcoating it. What you did is mess the fuck up. We can't let this kind of cruelty. We cannot let this kind of cruelty slide. But there's still time. Please, stop this. What does it matter to outsiders like you, hmm? We're only thinking of the country in Ulster. How dare you be so impudent? Wads, get these people out of my town. Cleaning up the riffraff like this shouldn't be a problem. After all, I've already arranged to sweep away the town. What are the f what are a few extra pieces of trash? What? what? <laughs> Time is short and we have to begin. Let the great plan begin. Sponsored, of course, by Gleiston Go. Hugo's really, really fucking... No! Losing control of his company. Archaisms. 
as construction equipment. Holy shit. I saw signs that Kleiss had been working some shady deals with Ouroboros. They're not just using military monsters, they're using archaisms too? There's so many of them. W what is this all about? Was what are these machines doing here? They're going to destroy the town. Stop them! What are you talking about? This is what we agreed. This is a necessary measure. We must take in order to build the factory. Just build it to the side of the town! Wait, the factory was supposed to be built on the outskirts of the town. I had the area surveyed, and the mountains were going to make development difficult. Then buy up the farm fields! There's a bunch of them! The locality of the town was perfect. However, uh, it is the most efficient site. This is for the nation. Surely you won't start objecting now of all times. No, but this is... You've tricked me. I would never have agreed to this. <laughs> well, have a nice day, everyone. Things are going to be a little messy for uh, here for a while, so I think I'll take my leave. Yeah, Hugo's definitely not fucking. He's running for it. We have to do something about this first. The group split up to take on the monsters and archaisms. Stop Stop it right now. Tell me, leave our town alone. Yes, definitely say that to... Look out! Yeah, I know both of them were fairly capable. Are you okay? It's dangerous here. Please stand back. Your Highness! Oh, please! It's not safe to be this close to the battle. Now I intend to fight. Allow me to help. This is the reality of the Great Twilight and the government schemes. If I don't do whatever I can to save this nation, then I'm not fit to be part of the Imperial family. Your Highness! We need to do something about the monsters and the archaisms. So leave this to us. You need to catch up to Wads. For all of Oster. Got it. Thank you. Elise, protect your Highness. If it gets too dangerous, both of you just run. Got it. Don't worry about us. Be careful, everyone. Ugh, I just hope my emergency plan makes it in time. Oh, who might have he called? Hugo? Not long now. The lodge should be just up ahead. Alma, Hodge, are you doing alright? Oh, yes, thank you. Don't worry about me. I can still walk a bit longer. Why don't we take a short break while we're here? There's no need to hurry. We can take our time. Yes, I guess you're right. Anyway, Kai, when are you and Tilly are going to tell us uh, what this is all about? I was surprised to hear you of all people tell us we should leave town early. Oh, right, about that. Um, actually, Reen and them were the ones who came up with this whole plan. Oh, really, now? I mean, those kids who saved the town before. I'll tell you more once we get to the lodge. Well, all right. You must have your reason for keeping quiet. In any case, the lodge is just a little bit further. I'll take care of any monsters we run into in the meantime, so follow me. Of course, thank you very much. Come on, lot. Don't dawdle. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it, it's not here. The sheep plushie daddy gave me. No, I must have accidentally left it behind somewhere. Oh no. No. Oh, that's... Uh, okay, that's ratcheting up the drama. How poorly this could go. He would totally run over a kid. Well, now, I'm not going to be quite... Words. Huh? An normal bike? Ah! I'm surprised he didn't just run him over. It's you. What are you doing here, Herman? Oh, her friend. I remember. Mr. Wands. Isn't about time you went straight. You've been ignoring orders from the main office for a while now. On top of that, I hear you've been making illicit deals all over the Empire. How long did you think you could keep this up? So what happened to that promise of yours? You swore you wouldn't trample over others for business's sake. But here we are. I never would have found my calling if it weren't for you. 
I'm just here to make up for all that you did for me. I've decided that I'm going to pay you back by stopping you from making this huge mistake. It's over now, Wads. We know this isn't your first offense, but it'll be the last time you try to scam someone like this. The Inspectorate should already have already contacted you. We'd like to bring you in for questioning about your recent dealings with the government. <laughs> Meddling kids, yes! 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 <laughs> Why don't y'all just stop wasting my time? I have no, I know I've had my setbacks, but this plan is foolproof. I've won over the mayor, avoided the main office, laid the groundwork with the uh, government, and even called in favors from the IDF. Do you have any idea how long I've waited for all this to come together? Pretty soon, like, less than a week, because it's been like less than a week when we last talked to you about your last plan. Pretty soon, the Oster Distribution Center is going to dominate the whole of the northwestern region. Just think about it. If I pull this off, it would be the biggest score of my entire career. Yeah, and you're not going to benefit from it. You're going to be in fucking jail, even if it does go through. The profits I bring could finally even surpass Hugo Kleist. You're part of the damn company, aren't you? That's what this is all about? Only you'd gone about it differently. That passion could have led you to actual great things. You've been with Kleist & Co. for a long time. Ever since it was first founded, right? Were you hoping Hugo would hand you over the Kleist Mall and Ortis? This is my fault, Mr. Wads. If only I'd pay more attention. I could have stopped you before it came to this. But if words won't work, I have to get through to you some other way. Don't you dare try to stop me. It's all about to come together. Just a little more. It'd be perfect. Perfect, I tell you. What the? What was that? Oh? Wait, what? A kid? Why is the kid being, like, followed by the great Twilight Pulses? Looks like the heavens have sent me a little gift. Or is it pushing him? Damn it. Huh? Now, now, everyone. Better mind your manners. Just keep quiet and cooperate, and this will all go smoothly. Mr. Wads! Let him go now! <laughs> now let me be clear. I'm not going to budge even one wedge away from my plan. All I need is a little more time, and the proper equipment, and I'll be able to level Oster to the ground. Not to mention, I still have one last ace up my sleeve. Ooh. Heavy equipment, eh? Alright, now, time to take out the trash. Gaspard Garantz? You really brought Ouroboros Archaisms out here. That is enough! Stop this right now, Mr. Wads! <sighs> the Great Twilight has gotten to him. That settles it. We have to finish this ourselves. First, we'll take these things down. Everybody ready? Yeah, we'll handle this. See the hostage from Strain Wads! Ah! <laughs> now! Let's dance! I'm up! It's my turn! It's my turn! If you want, I'll do my best! Arcus, activate! Take this! Now! Let's go, everyone! Yes, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Tuh. Tuh. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. My turn. Sorry. Take over. Leave everything to me. How does this suit you? Ah. So much for breaking it. It's my turn! Crimson Slash! I'll handle this! <laughs> it's 
my turn. Now. It's my turn. How does this suit you? Check. Now. It's mine. I'll handle this. Behold the soul of. It's my turn. Sit. Damn it. I'll treat you. <laughs> Thanks. Now, let's dance. Did she say the Bound by My Chains no longer in her enemy S craft version? You cannot escape death's embrace. Or is that new with her being in her new state of mind? I wonder. Oh, I've made a mistake. It's my turn. Good luck. I'll do my best. Uh, there. <laughs> Thanks. Thank I'm so happy. My turn. Sorry, take over. Leave it to me. Zero arts make this interesting. Ha! Leave it to me. Arc is activated. My turn. <laughs> Yep, not too bad. <laughs> Just like that. That's a good upgrade. Yay, I did it. And boom, boom, boom. He still has one more. Shit. No, you destroyed them already? This is ridiculous. We got weak from that fight. I'll just use the other one in. Not so fast. Oh! What? I thought you were in Calvert. Wasn't I just told you were in Calvert? What? You took it out in one blow? Yeah. Alright, it's time you too. Perfect timing, guy. Now just leave the rest to us. What? Quick, get with us! Tilia! Looks like the tables have turned. <laughs> Phew. Well, things were getting pretty dicey there, but I guess we made it in just the nick of time. We're from the Bracer Guild. Can anyone bring us up to speed? <laughs> I thought you were in Calvert. Where didn't we? <sighs> okay. They might be working with Zin remotely. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner. Not at all. Everything worked out perfectly. Glad I called you guys. I would have thought that uh, things would get this crazy. Thank goodness. We were sick when he disappeared a lot. <laughs> it all happened so fast. I'm sorry I ran off to the other guy. Nice work at the rescue, you two. <laughs> I think the credit goes to Estelle and the for charging right when things took a return for the worst. I'm just relieved things turned out the way they did. Racers. You have got to be kidding me! Wanted criminal field dogs, where is this going to end? Are you going to make an enemy of Kleiston go? Of the government? I think we're both on the other side of that already. You still haven't given up? I mean, you're not even on Kleiston Go's side. I don't think you fully understand the position you're in. What? According to Tovol, the main office of Kleiston Co. has denied all responsibility for the things you've done. You've been suspended from duty several times. And you're on your last warning now. Wow. They gave him multiple warnings. That info technically isn't meant to leave the company, but... 
push really came to shove. I heard about it from Reiner. Your unethical fixation on success is in direct opposition to the main office's wishes. Doesn't it seem a bit uncouth of you to invoke Klysuko, Mr. A Three Piece Assume, considering their feeling towards you and all? Throwing it around like that could land you in some trouble. I couldn't agree more. You have no right to utter the name Wads. Same goes for your so called connections with the government. Ah, he's finally here. And there's the last helper we called in. That ship. Sir? Yeah, I figured he'd be... Oh, okay. Hi there, everyone. Sorry it took us so long. Oh, is Hugo gonna, like, be working with us at this point if he even came here with Becky? Has he regretted his uh, decisions enough to change sides? Finding Hugo and bringing him here took a wee bit longer than expected. Well, Miss, um, Mr. Managing Director, seems like things here have taken a real spiral. Any plans on how to handle it? Oh, I'll put an end to this all right. It is my duty, after all. <laughs> Wait, what did you... Sir, I, I apologize for how this must look. These ruffians have thrown a wrench in the works, but it's only a temporary setback, I assure you. Wads, let's cut to the chase. What exactly are you doing here? Sir? Do you have any idea of the trouble you're in? As if scamming people out of their homes wasn't bad enough. You even took a child hostage! I've told you time and time again that I won't accept such unconscionable methods of business, yet you continue to disregard my orders! So, I don't understand. Who cares about the best? Don't you see what's at stake here? I found a more efficient way to boost our profits. Why should anything else matter? That's what doing business is all about, right? You never make it in this industry if you let yourself worry over matters of petty morality. Come on, Wads. It's like speaking to a brick wall with you. The curse has taken root deep inside him. <sighs> I must have honed in on his fixation with profit and drove him out of control. Or maybe it's more his obsession with surpassing you that's gotten him this far out of line. Surpassing me? Why should that matter so much? You still don't understand. I've been with Kleis since the very beginning. I've watched it grow from a tiny company into the nationwide juggernaut it is today. Do you have any idea what it's like for me seeing you take over and call me incompetent third rate? If I can raise our profits more than you, then perhaps finally you recognize me for the businessman I truly am. Hugo, you can always use things so logically, but a situation like this really requires an emotional touch. Wads, you've been a loyal employee for my of my company for many years. In just the past months, your efforts have raised a profit margin by 10%. Amid the results you achieved have been impressive, but your criminal activity, rejection of our, tra of our trading policies, and utter refusal to follow orders are not something I can overlook. Effective immediately. I am relieving you of your position as sales manager and placing you on indefinite suspension. What? I forgot his title was sales manager. That actually makes it sort of funny. <laughs> There's no way to overcome him if he's not even... No, I can't be after all I've done. Everyone, I'm truly sorry for the trouble Watts has caused. I take full responsibility. I should pay more attention of, uh, to what was going on in my own company. I promise I'll compensate anyone who was affected by my monster, uh, my employees' unlawful activities. Sorry, a little Freudian slip there about saying monster. Now, Herman. Uh, yes, sir? Attend to Wads. It looks like he's taking a few bumps. See to it that he gets medical treatment. Uh, yes, sir, of course. Well, I must be on my way. Hold up, Hugo. One more question before you go. What are you planning to do from here out? The Wads problem may have been settled, but what about the future? You knew what the government was planning, but you still got into bed with them. I know it wasn't purely a business decision, but all of this is that happened here. That's where it got to you. You claim you got to take responsibility, but what does that mean? You're stepping down as managing director? 
I told you already, didn't I? I'm going to settle things. The fires of war will engulf this continent before too long. I've known that for two years now. That's why I allied myself with the government. To give Kleiss its best chance of surviving. But I see now that I made the wrong judgment. It's only natural that I should resign. Here we go. Jeez, none of this, Pesh. What do you think that's, that's going to accomplish? What? She's got a point, Yuga. You know we're trying to put an end to the Great Twilight, right? Your government connections could make you a valuable ally to that cause. What do you say? For all time's sake? I don't know. The way I see it, the important thing here is an obligation is what you truly want to make happen. Not that it's any of my business. I'm not from Erebonia myself, so I don't know what all this must be like for you. But all of us has got but all of us have gotten this far by following your own convictions, by doing what we believe is right. Same probably goes for Reen in class seven. So why should it be any different for you? Estelle. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good way of summing up why we're all here. We wouldn't have trudged all the way out to West Erebonia if we didn't believe in what we were doing. In the end, the decision is yours to make. Try to be honest with yourself and see how things go from there. What do I really want? I... But crying out loud, you know what you want. You just cannot admit it because of that stubborn pride of yours. You know, there's a way both Thor's and Kleist can come out of this still standing. So wrap your... So wrap your wings and snap to it. If you go wrong again, I'll be there to set you right. Becky. <laughs> Me go wrong. You better not expect I'd make any sort of mistake like that twice. And I'll move forward from here, my way. I'm unsure of the future of the company in Thor's without so much as relying as the go uh, on the government. <laughs> well set. If anyone can do all that, it's you. All the same, it's good, you, it's good to have you back on our side, Hugo. I'm sure the others will be glad to hear it, too. We should head back and spread the news of the nonsense, don't you think, guys? Yeah. Huh? Well, I'm certainly glad that's over. I'm sort of upset that we got pulled into this ruckus. This has nothing to do with us. You could say that again. My heart's still beating crazy fast. We still have a few things that we need to clear up, but at least the worst is behind us. Uh, did anyone take care of all the monsters back at town? Are we trusting Elfin and Elise to take care of them? Because that was a lot of archaisms and monsters, I will add. Uh, it's thanks to all them. These Thor kids still got in them, don't they? <laughs> Elise and Elfin have left the party. <laughs> Shortly afterward, the Third Armored Division arrived to take control of the scene. And yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's sustained considerable damage, however, so we've restored the compensation of Klaxon Care. The residents rejoice as they return to the town. And the others were reunited with old friends. Has Estelle and them ever been to with kind to Leah? Ring of Judgment. Wasn't that a Tovel story entirely? I'm trying to remember... I'm trying to remember if Sel it was a long time ago that I read it at this point. I might be remembering it correctly, but still. Oh, you can't find your... Certainly not everything was resolved that day. Mayor probably learned a lesson. But at least this is the end of the incident that engulfed Alster. You're all going now, aren't you? Yes. It would have been nice to stay a little longer, though. Yeah, I figured. I want to thank you guys again for everything you did. Right, you got my thanks, too. I knew asking you guys to look into this was the right call. Well, it wasn't just us. We had a lot of help on this one. 
Right, we had some assistance in clearing out the remaining archaisms, too. Eh, we only collaborated a few of them. You two pretty much had things handled on your own. Thanks to your guys' hard work, that Ulster was saved. You're the first ones on the scene, and you busted the, uh, that conspiracy wide open. Yeah, if you hadn't gotten here when you did, it might have been too late. Aw, thank you for saying so. <laughs> but I think if I hear any more praise, I'll turn red from head to toe. Honestly, though, I'm sure my father and brother will be able to breathe a sigh of relief now. I don't doubt it. If you have the chance, please tell your father that I hope for a swift recovery. Oh, thank you. I'll let him know. Hmm? What are they talking about? <laughs> you, we said Princess Elfin in front of them already. I think I may have an idea. Uh, that'll be our little secret, okay? <laughs> Things are going to get way tougher from here. we got to stay on our toes. For now, us bracers are going to keep on bracing. Hope you guys can keep up. <laughs> I have a choice. Come back anytime. Just be careful out there. Things might be a bit tough for the town for a bit. If there's anything we can do to help, just let us know. We'll come back to see you again. Stay safe. Oh, that was nice. That was a lot more uh, extensive than I thought it would be, too. So, cool. Oh, hey! Hey, you made it in the end! Uh, real quick. I jumped in my car as soon as I heard about this, but I still didn't make it in time! Ah, how did Estelle and them get here? But it looks like you guys all handled everything just fine without me, at least. Thankfully, yes. It's good to see you again, Inspector Reiner. We had a little trouble along the way, but we managed to throw a wrench to their plans. Ah, to think that the government and the IDF were colluding to take over Ulster. That they nearly succeeded. It's probably something that could only ever happen because of the state of the world uh, that the world's in. But this is exactly the sort of thing that the Government Accountability Inspector already exists to stop. Thanks for the help, guys. Stop saying the entire name. Stop it. Stop it. It's too many syllables. We should be the ones thanking you. We hadn't gotten a word from you when we did. Wads would probably have gotten away scot-free. Glad to hear that. It really makes my job feel worthwhile. As long as we don't give up, we can expose any corruption in the government. Whether anything happens due to that corruption being exposed is another question. I keep at it and help make everybody a better place to live in for everyone. Yeah, good. Okay, time for my big meeting with Hugo Kleist. Can't wait to find out what he knows. I have so many questions. Well, I think he might be a little bit more willing to work with you. Oh, you're still here. Uh, should you be? I know you said you need to head out. Estelle said she wanted a little more time here. Who knows when we'll get to see Alster again. I kind of just want to drink it all in. By the way, Reen, how do you guys know Kai and Tilia? Well, we met back during the Civil War. We were dropping off some flies and, well, things got a little out of hand. You guys are always coming to our rescue. I just kind of feel bad that we don't have any way to repay you. <laughs> Saying your smiling face is more than thanks enough, Tilia. She's right. I'm glad to see that you and Kai are happy and healthy. I'm sure everyone feels the same. You're all so nice. You know, it's not just Toby. You're all like cool heroes out of a storybook. Uh, so I'll always be there to cheer you on. Aw, you're going to make me blush. Thanks, Tilia. I can't think of any better encouragement than that. True enough. Uh, I didn't know until recently that Balser's actually Olivier's hometown. It seems like the mayor... <laughs> the, like, the, the mayor's got all in a tizzy and messing everything up. Okay. If Ring and Judgment involved Estelle and Joshua, I don't actually remember that part at all. I don't remember the story of that too well at this point, but... Oh, and if you don't remember what Ring and Judgment is, it's the manga that told the story of Ulster originally with Tovel. And maybe Estelle and Joshua? Uh, pretty sure not Ren, at least. <laughs> and then there's a radio drama uh, that I, I honestly actually never went and I never went and listened to, just never got around to it, that uh, filled in the blanks for what happened with Ulster. It's interesting that they put such a heavy emphasis on it, and those events being relevant, despite them not being in the games. Yeah, I say, guy, you've gotten a lot better about, uh, at your overall arts. It means a lot coming from you, Tovel. Well, thank you. I've been training whenever I get the chance. I want to get strong enough to practice Tilly all, all on my own. I see. You were pretty level-headed even back then, but it looks like you've only grown more dependable since. Agreed, but honestly, I never expected you to start using arts. Did Tovel teach you or something? He did. He's been giving me lessons whenever he passes through town. Yeah, I mean, I noticed he had a knack for it back when he got into uh, trouble with that artifact, so I figured, why not? 
And maybe it's because he's getting better as an engineer, but the kid knows his way around an ornament. <laughs> he might be teaching me before long. Uh, I, I don't know about that. Seriously, I imagine you're already good enough to take on most of the monsters on this highway. But remember, fighting to protect someone is very different than fighting for yourself. Keep up your training. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well. Good that everything worked out in the end. Oh, that's a gripping. Ah, if it isn't the Thor's contingent, readings. At least, Your Highness, I hope you are well. It's a pleasure to see you again, Marquis. You as well, Gwyn. This is where you went after the last time we saw you. Yeah, Rena and I both. We're looking to making a few off policy changes, but we need more info first. The Pillar of Light and Amos, of course, raise a number of questions, but we have Chairman Arena and Professor Smith back on our side, and I have high hopes for George and Sharon, too. Of course, I'm not holding my breath when it comes to Franz. Don't worry, we'll get through this somehow. We'll get through to him somehow, I know it. Uh, I mean... So we have this idea that he's being possessed or controlled in some manner. Is he... influenced in the same way the mayor was being influenced, or is he actually, like, being possessed? That part is sort of vague and unclear. And the question of whether we'll be able to get through to him is, you know... Well, that's just the kind of optimism we're going to need. I'm discussing whether there's anything we can do to, uh, and, uh, and on, on our end to break this deadlock. I've sent Chairman Arena ahead into the back room to begin meeting without us. We absolutely must find some form of solution. I agree wholeheartedly. Interesting. Okay. So, does that mean Ballad's here? Is Ballad gonna be key? <laughs> Ballad's gonna be key to everyone's plans. I'm aware of the current situation. You have overcome one rivalry already, if I'm not mistaken. While the situation appears to remain quite serious, please rest while you can. Thanks, Elston. Discussion's going well. Uh, Marcus Valen has become quite amiable to our proposal. He's now aiding me in pressing several negotiations forward. I see. Sounds like it went well. Knowing how to use the tools at hand can be vital, even if I, uh, may. <laughs> even if I may. Even a rusty tool has its use. The words of politics seem complicated. Uh... Rusty tool, eh? Hello again, everyone. Chairman Arena, what are you doing here? Ah, what right have you two? Princess? What are you doing here? Is it even safe for you to be out in the open? I'm quite certain I'll be fine. There's been some time, Marcus Ballin. My apologies for not being able to liven things up here for you earlier. <laughs> of course, children. Running the mouths off about my affairs. I sort of wish Alfin was playable. Because she was playable in, um... Uh, Reverie Corridor, like, at the very tail end of Cold Steel 2. Such a small part of the games, and she was an outright playable character. Elise... Was was that when Elise became playable, too? I think. Sort of same idea, but I don't care about Elise as much. At least in terms of being playable. Alfin was interesting at the very... Like, she was, uh, interesting in that... Oh, uh, didn't she have, like, a barrier S-craft? That was really... That was really neat. Especially from a strategic perspective. Gosh, children running their mouths off about my affairs. Not at all, your highness. Seeing who could have does wonders for my spirits. I take you to met to exchange information. Correct. I plan on making some major policy revisions at the Rhineford Group, but I needed more info to determine how to proceed. Our mutual colleague, former President Conrad, helped serve as our go between. He used to be a managing director for us at RF. Poor Conrad's influence has been in decline ever since a particularly eventful party turned sour. It's a real shame. But that his formal connection with Reinford led to this meeting of the minds can only be called Providence. I see. Seems Marcus Ballad knows every deep pocket of slime ball every pony has to offer. Well, Chairman Arena seems to trust his information at, uh, at any rate. Rusty tool indeed. Mother, what exactly do you mean by policy revisions? I've no intention on discussing uh, it as of yet. I've no intention of discussing as yet undecided policy out of the office, so let's just say I think there's room for discussion regarding the Fifth Development Division and how we work with the government. I see. Alright, I'll ask you more about this once we're back at the office. Interesting. This is where everyone was setting up, yeah? To try to go help. Something wrong. Running out of medical supplies. Okay. Interesting. Maybe there'll be a hidden quest here. Oh, hey, Major Michael. Oh, Major Irving. Inspecting the Panzer Soldats? 
Yes, I was hoping to avoid there being heavy combat during our diversion operation. However, as things stands, we're very likely to need every single combat asset at our disposal. I'm glad to have this sold out now. In the end, it was the right choice to accept it. Oh, right. I heard Principal Le Guin gave you a Panzer Sold as a farewell gift. That's right. Apparently, she placed a special order to RF. It seems to have the same modifications as the Weissland's army soldats. That'll be a perfect addition to our forces. Are the Weissland army soldats, like, the ones that are specially made for it, at least, from RF, too? Is RF playing every side of the field, maybe? Considering the scale of this operation, we'll have just barely enough troop strength. We'll need a plan that uses our assets as efficiently as possible. I'm glad we've got you with us, then, Major. Just leave it to me. It's my duty as a member of Thor's faculty, after all. I am happy you've really taken a shine to being part of Thor's. There is just straight up a really nice homey feel to the sort of like identity of feeling like you belong to that place. It, there is a, it is a real nice feeling at the very least. Oh, that's a interesting person to show up here. It seems that great light has dissipated. And with it, the channel to the spirit realm is closed. Yet the slumbering presence I sense here still feels as if it could. Oh, never mind me. <laughs> Seriously? You gonna leave us hanging after saying something like that? The slumbering presence? Interesting. Several presences have appeared across this land. I believe I have some investigating to do. <laughs> As a Thor alumnus, it is, in a sense, my responsibility. Or well, that's how I think of it. Presences. Slumbering presence here. I mean, when you say that, that's the only thing I can think of, so... That's... I don't even know how to better interpret that. That's, that's, uh... That's a phrase. Hmm. She's been following cryptids, so I wonder if it could, uh, could be connected to that. I wonder if it could be connected to the uh, devils and whatnot that we've seen, the demons or whatever they're technically called in this world. Hmm. So my general theory from my theory of everything about why the monsters tend to show up... Uh, so, I guess, for those of you who haven't watched that, one of my parts of my theory on how the world works is that it's basically a big phantasma, right? And it's it's like basically the equivalent of a world, that sort of thing. Uh, okay. Rather than something that's like a, like a planet with space around it or something like that. Instead, the equivalent is like a phantasma and around it is a, like another big dimension, which would be the equivalent of Gehenna with monsters and whatnot. And my general theory, at least, is that when things go sour and, like, the world becomes on the strain and septarian veins are, you know, strain, uh, anything, things start being able to get in, essentially, from the outside. And that's more the idea of what I'm thinking in terms of how that works. And it's one of those things where there's details to it that obviously are pretty far from being confirmed, but... I feel like everything in terms of foreshadowing, like the devil monsters showing up, stuff like this, the cryptids and all that, nothing's really became more specific than what we've seen in the past in terms of foreshadowing and things you could take from it. So it still fits, but we need more specifics before, you know, any of that really plays out. Oh, have you made your way out here? Ha! You bet your ass I caught that on camera. My ass, maybe? There's a lot of things he could be talking about. How could I not capture two divisions moving out to the burrow? Oh, well, you did tell me you wanted to be a war photographer, right? Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe these shots are too gritty and real. If only there was a sexy lady officer on top of one of those vehicles, maybe that could have given them a bit more oomph. You should follow Aurelia around. Yeah, I think they're probably fine as is. <laughs> oh, boy. So they headed out. They're finally at that point. Feels like it's been forever that they've been at that point. Uh, yeah, this is another place people were gathering. <laughs> Just keep swapping people out, though, eh? Why, hello, everyone. Ferris? D I can't believe even you and Josette are on board now, too. I'm just here delivering some spare parts for the Merkaba. 
It needed a few parts that are only manufactured by the Foundation. It's nice to know that we can finally make the repairs we need to. That really is a relief. You said these parts were Foundation made? Did you import them directly from Lamon? Well, let's just say I didn't get a receipt. My buddies on the Bombcat, uh, I helped, uh, the bo my buddies on the Bobcat 1 helped me out. That's not an I, that's a 1. Better for you if we just leave it at that. I've also been trying to use my family's wealth to obtain any additional supplies we might need. I have a feeling we're going to be pining, uh, pinning a lot of our hopes on the Merkaba in the battles to come. It's the least we can do to ensure that the ship is properly cared for. Thanks, I appreciate that. We're counting on you, everyone. Interesting. Okay. I've got several people waiting to transport. Uh, we don't have time for a break after dropping off my cargo. I was really frantic with so much to do, but it's now or never, right? Gotta make it through. Fair enough. Hey, Crewman Jim! Well, if it isn't Reen, it's been a spell. Glad to see you're still alive and kicking. Now, hold on, I know you. We met in leaves that spring, didn't we? Got it in one! Man, I never would have made those deliveries without your help. Not an embarrassing thing back on it, though. I heard the new my ass from my elbow. I wonder what sort of confusion or mess ups you can make by not knowing your ass from your elbow. This time, though, I delivered the parts of the Merkaba in no time flat. I've got a lot of stuff going on uh, on outside of work, but you don't need you don't get better by cutting corners. Now I do every job as best I can. <laughs> I like the way you think. I'll do the same. Hey, Jim. Been a while. Uh, I really can't thank you enough. Not just for the supplies, but also for getting his permission to stay here. Oh, think nothing of it. The Floods know how to take care of their friends. We even have Father's blessing to do as we please in this manner. Now, more than ever, we need to band together under the Thor's banner. Don't hesitate to call us, uh, call on us for anything. Thank you again. I keep that in mind. Even people who are there basically on a... a secret operation mission end up really feeling like properly part of Thor's. Ah, uh, it is a nice homey feeling. I will say more so than the Bracers ever felt. And the uh, not the SSS, because the SSS is more like Class 7. And I guess more so than the Crossbell Police ever felt, too. It, it is very nice, I guess, basically. Uh, now that Rack's been drafted, the tavern feels emptier than ever, right? Man, you are just one dedicated employee now. Besides, Miranda's agreed to let me stay here now that I'm estranged from my father. <laughs> is he still looking for you? I work hard to keep, uh, earn my keep and repay your kindness. Okay. Hello. Quest? It's about time for Leo to get here. Leonidas, maybe. Oh, you're that instructor from Thor's. You see Leo on your way here? Sorry, I haven't seen her. Oh, no, that Leo. She did say she was planning to visit, right? Of course, that's why I'm preparing my special paella for a while. Uh, for her while I wait. She's late, but it's probably nothing to worry about. I bet she just wants to look around town. I can wait a little bit longer. I see. She's really just late. Maybe we should check up on her. No, I'm sensing some murderous aura nearby. Let's take a look up front, just in case. Swimming showdown? Uh-oh. Nope. We can take care of that later. I, I just want to go around and talk to the... Oh, okay. I wanted to go around and talk to, uh... The less frequent areas. The preparations to move have been completed. I do apologize for such a selfish request. Think nothing of it, your highness. It is completely understandable. Oh, mother. It's great to see you. How have you been doing? Oh, I forgot that this reunion could happen. We should have done this earlier. Alfin, if it isn't you, I see you're accompanied by several members of Thor's as well. Uh, please excuse us, your highness. Are you going somewhere? I've arranged a visit to uh, for her highness to St. Ursula Hospital in Crossbell. Oh, great. We'll get to meet up with you there, too. Interesting. We were planning to go to Crossbell later. Hold oh, no, on, does that mean... It is as you suspect. The Emperor's surgery is to be performed tomorrow evening. Oh my. Let's try not to cause any undue stress in that area. I've been granted permission to see him before he's taken to the, uh, into the operating room. Really? That's wonderful news. I'm so glad to hear that. Me too. Governor Pregnant, thank you for making the arrangements. It is the least I could do. In fact, I must ask that you excuse my impudence up until now. Oh, there's no need for that. You've done so much for us, really. You kept me informed of my children's movements along with Prince Olivet and the fine people of Thor's. And Lucy, thank you for being in communication with the hospital. 
I'm very grateful for all the explanations of my husband's condition and the details of the operation. I know that with my, uh, I know that my heart will be much more at ease when I meet with him now. It has been an honor to be in your service, your highness. Grand Prince Albert also considers Emperor Eugen as a dear friend. We will do everything we can to support you. You have my utmost gratitude. You've been such a help already. We will be praying that the operation is a success. Don't know if I really got any right to you, but I want to send off bread ideas to you. Of course, I thank you for the sentiment. Please take care on your journey, your highness. Tell father that we're all well. I will. Be sure to look out for Prince Oliver for me. Uh, of course. Things are looking up, aren't they, your highness? Even if there are still worries about the operation? Yes, at least mother will be by his side. Kevin Regnitz, allow me to express my gratitude to you. Mother's visit to the hospital is only possible thanks to your deft negotiations with the government. Ah, I'm afraid you exaggerated my insignificant deeds, your highness. The Great Twilight reaching its peak. The Imperial family's movements are the least of uh, their concerns. Oh, I see. I suppose you're not in their sights uh, at all right now. It's just the same as how they've been treating us, actually. That's exactly why there are still possibilities that lie before us. They're so busy with the actual war that all the resistance is so relatively negligible that at least <laughs> they'd never be able to do a focused effort at this point. Operation Yormigander or Operation No Mirage. Oh, I see. So you're not just here for the Empress, then? Didn't you visit the mansion in St. Ark as well? I believe I can let you fill in the blanks there. da 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 Rebbe Ferry is looking ahead in an attempt to determine the best means of countering what's to come. Accepting refugees, managing the support infrastructures, and handling affairs in the aftermath of the war. They're taking every possible scenario into consideration and analyzing them down to the minute detail. Of course, in our hearts, we wish to support the third path you're all working towards, but Rebbe Ferry is a small country with little power. That's exactly why we have to put up a fight. Let me see. Those words alone mean more than you can know. Well, as long as you're making the effort to work towards... to prepare, basically. And I think there is room for us to cooperate, at least. If it's about intel or medical information, I should be able to help. I'll be sure to contact you again. We have some meetings scheduled. I'm sorry, but we have to hurry off. There's much time left. We have to use it wisely. Right. We'll be looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Indeed. After seeing the two off, Reen and the others return to their own task. Cool, cool. Oh, so this is your meeting, just you two? Uh, okay, yeah, they're discussing the details. Okay. Okay. That's probably good enough for this recording session. So, I'll see y'all next time. Uh, probably delve into uh, bonding events a bit then, so. Again, I, I, I did it for the other one. But I'll also throw that out there again. I'm definitely doing Duvali, Ash, Crow, Altina. Alisa, Fee, Emma, and Yuna. Two of those four, basically, yeah? Hmm. If there's any suggestions on which ones are better. The thing is, I like so many of the characters at a base level. Just, like, so much at this point. Where it's, like, outside of, like, knowing which ones tend to be better as actual, like, events that can play out outside of that then uh it's really just me picking the characters i really like and then everyone else being at a level where it's like i like them quite a bit so i'm not i'm not choosing them based on what character i want to do at that point it will be sort of a whim to the point where my my mind could change day from day on what i end up doing so i wouldn't make a decision now because i'm gonna record this at a later time but i'll leave it there if you have any suggestions, feel free to make them like I did uh, like the last time. So, I'll see y'all next time. Drive safely, everyone.